Hello, my lovely Geminis, and a very warm welcome to your August 2022 horoscope forecast. The month starts out with your ruler, Mercury, on the 5th, moving into your fourth house of home and family. This is a great placement for any kind of work from home, researching, networking, connecting with others, collaboratively working in cooperation with others from your home base. It's also a really good time for clearing the air, having some good discussions, stimulating ideas between family members or people with whom you're very close. It's a really good time as well for researching into the efficiency of your home. How can you make it maybe more energy efficient? What repairs need to be done? What things need to be upgraded? This will be a really good time to be doing that. On the 12th of the month, we have got a full moon happening here in your ninth house. And the ninth house has to do with travel. So you may be traveling somewhere. You may be completing a trip during this month. You may also have a project that comes to fruition, and especially anything to do with publishing, writing, uh, any international type of business, languages, anything to do with legal case can complete, come to a closure at this point. And also it shines a light on your spiritual growth and really asks you, do I have enough meaning in my life? How can I bring more meaning into every single part of my life? And the full moon may show you where it's lacking so that you can make those upgrades. Also on the 12th, we've got Venus coming to join the sun in this third house. So we've got this balance between the ninth and the third houses, lovely Geminis. Um, and this has to do with learning, studying, communications, networking. And Sun and Venus together are really positive for any kind of negotiations, buying and selling and contracts. And uh, many of you really enjoy that, picking up a bargain. Um, it's also really good for making friends, um, connecting with people that you really resonate with, that you like, your soul family. The big event for you this month is the ingress of Mars, planet of energy, passion, forward movement, going into your sign on the 21st of this month. Now, usually Mars stays in a sign for about six weeks or so. This time, because Mars will go retrograde in your sign later this year, more about that in future videos, um, it's going to stay there for seven months until March 26th of 2023. So this is a long time you've got Mars, planet of this movement in your sign. So what does it mean? Well, first of all, it can be very good for your physical body, for getting strong, for exercising, for moving. It's also good for starting new projects, getting going with something that you might have been oh, feeling you're procrastinating about or things are not moving, this is time for you to take action. You might be working with new technology. You might be working with new currencies, digital currencies. You might find yourself learning new skills for your hands. It's also, you might be learning uh, how to share information and maybe make a business from that information and wisdom that you have gleaned. Oh, there's so many possibilities here, but Mars certainly gives you a lot of energy. And now it's about deciding where will you put your energy for the highest possible frequency. On the 23rd of the month, the sun joins Mercury in this Fourth house on the 26th of the month, Mercury moves on, moving fast this month into the fifth. And on the 27th, we've got a lovely new moon happening in the fourth house. So let's start with the fourth house, sun and moon in the fourth. This is a great time for 
renewing anything in your home, renovating, upgrading, fixing. Some of you might be moving or thinking of moving. It's a good time to really just bring in something new into your home environment. Could be flowers. Yeah, it could be something very simple. But really, that new moon brings a breath of fresh air in everything connected with your home, your family, your security, your stability. And the Mercury in the fifth house is exceptionally good for romance, for connecting with like-minded individuals, for launching a business, especially if it's your business, your product, your service. And it reminds you too to play and to have fun. And Gemini's, many of you are already really good at it. So just develop it a little further. Do let me know if you'd like me to continue doing these uh, monthly forecasts. If so, please comment, share, like, and sub. And I do hope you'll join me for my webinars that I'm doing, starting to really teach the foundations of astrology so that you can learn its magic and apply it to your chart and your life. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.